Good day, folks. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Trevor, and I am your one-armed bandit in the bush. In today's episode, I had uh, left Perump and headed towards uh, Red Rock Canyon, where I was hoping to go and explore in the gorges there uh, and in the mountainside to see if I could find uh, my next good campsite. Um, but given that the forecast was that over the next two to three days there was going to be some serious winds blowing, I wanted to try to find something that was sheltered. So first off, I ended up at uh, Red Rock Canyon. That unfortunately really is all state park and there wasn't really any camping right um, at the Red Rock uh, sort of canyon area itself. So continuing on that road, um, I did come across some BLM land. There were a lot of campsites available there, but to be honest, they were at an altitude that was a bit too high um, for my liking, given that there was going to be cold weather coming as well. And yeah, you know, I'm a little bit like a lizard. I don't like the cold weather. So I uh, I looked at numerous sites and then I continued. And ironically, as it often happens when we're out exploring, stumbled across the most magnificent little backcountry mountain pass road that I took. Um, a lot of switchbacks. So it was good fun driving down that. And I uh, did get some um, drone footage at the end of that. Um, however, it didn't work out and I continued to move along searching. So stay tuned and have a look and see what happens. Gosh, there's a, quite a twist in the day. So here's just a few still images of uh, the Red Rock Canyon. Clouds are busy building, so it made for great photography. Um, but uh, the weather was of a mild concern to me at this point, uh, not really realizing exactly what was still to come. So from there, it was off. Um, to BLM lands and then of course this is the drone footage that we're seeing here that is taken um, at the end of that mountain pass route. So you can see the route extending back behind me there um, and in another aerial footage that we'll have a little later on. Yeah well there we go we can see it. Um, Still at a relatively high altitude uh, and in that mountain pass as I was driving, certainly there was a lot of snow on the deck. wasn't going to take too long and uh, it was at this point that I would have wished that I had turned right and not left. However, going right would have just taken me back up into the mountains where the snow was and that's not quite what I was looking for. So this is really the view back up the road. Um, and as you see, that's just taking me straight to where uh, my least favorite place would be when there's inclement weather. Um, and this, of course, is the mountain pass that I had come through, um, which extends then all the way back to Red Rock Canyon. 
this is just panning around viewing back down into the pans uh, to the Pahrump area uh, which is where I would find myself later in that night um, camped down in the bottom um, on those plains and that is not where you want to be when there's wind coming. All right, well, just had a little bit of a challenge there now. Uh, as you will see in the drone footage, uh, things went awry. Um, riding on a very bumpy trail, very, every year and there, a couple of technical things, but a lot of steering, a lot of shaking and bouncing the vehicle. So my controller was all over the show. And for me to try and fly the drone and hold that thing and steer is not a possibility. So uh, that plus the glare and the fact that I'm doing this by myself means that I spotted way too late that the battery was running down and I lost the drone. So I used Google Maps to help me locate the drone and it only placed me probably about two miles, three miles away from the drone. <laughs> 
So Google Maps, and I won't use it again. Um, I then switched over to Apple Maps, and it took me to the exact location. I drove probably about a hundred yards or so past it. So I had missed it initially, but I re-entered it, and then I walked until I found the road. So after uh, nearly two hours of searching, thanks to Google Maps, they're as good as all-wheel parts or four-wheel parts of Nashville. Um, I eventually found the drone. So now we're on our way. The battery is flat. I'm actually not going to replace it, and I'm not going to put it back up in the air, you know, because this is just, it's it's too risky and it's uh, it's not the right place for me to fly when I'm driving on this kind of a shaking, rattling kind of a trail. So. Anyway, let me now try to find a campsite because now I've lost and wasted two hours. So, see you in camp. folks so uh, today we kind of ended up after driving the old Spanish trail last night outside of uh, Barump um, which is where I ended up trying to find a campsite and you know it must have been uh, nearly sunset before I found something so it'd be many hours and um, problem is it's right out in the plains and this morning when I got up the wind was really really blowing hard so um, I've decided based on the forecast because I then looked at the forecast and it's just going to get worse and they're expecting really really strong winds so based on that I've closed up camp and I'm going to go and book into a motel and uh, we'll talk further from there that's all for this episode folks so thank you very much for joining and watching don't forget if you have not yet to like and subscribe and uh, more importantly also to hit that notification button because there's a lot of content that's going to just keep coming every couple of days um, whilst I'm out here on this magnificent exploration. So come with me. Let's go see what we can find next.